In this video, we're going to do a little basic review of percents and how we work with percents and some word problems with percents. So we're going to use the percent formula where uh, they say A equals P times B, or A is P percent of B to answer the following question. Uh, you can use the percent formula, but I prefer just to translate the sentence here to math. So we say 3 and is is an equals, and then 60 percent we can write as the decimal 0 0.6. And then of in uh, words, when we write that out in words, that typically means multiply of what? And so we have x. So we have 3 equals 0.6x. And we want to solve for x. So we divide both sides by 0.6. And when we do that, we get that x equals to 5. And so... You can also go back and check that. Take 60% of 5 and you get 3. All right, so we have another problem down here that works on this uh, little formula for percent increase or decrease. It's important to know that it doesn't matter whether it's increase or decrease. It works the same. And you take the original price minus the new price divided by the original. This is what is uh, typically confusing to people when they try to remember this. You always divide by the original price, the starting price. All right, so the original price here was regularly 470. The sale price or the new price is 432.40. We're going to find the percent decrease. So we take 470 and then we subtract 432.40. And then this is the part where people kind of forget which one to do. Uh, it is the original price that always goes on the bottom. So 470 minus 432.40 over 470. So the numerator we get 3760 and we divide by 470 when we do that we get 0 0.08 and so we convert that to a percent by multiplying by 100 and move the decimal two to the right and we get that this number right here is eight percent all right so these are some simple problems that uh, indicate how we work with percents and it's something we'll use in future problems